So we are live, guys. This is Yvonne Miss Yaya, and I'm just practicing a live My Two Cents in a Sip for once a week going live with my updates, random topics, advice, and reviews. And so I don't know if y'all can hear me, so let me know if you guys can hear me because I'm talking into a microphone, and I don't know if you guys can hear me. But it looks like you can, because every time I talk, it do move. So let's see. So I'm gonna let a few more people come by and I'm gonna work it out. This is fun, but I don't know if I could. My two cents in a sip. Y'all know we give random advice, topics, updates, trending latest news and reality or celebrity. So this time I want to make it as a podcast podcast. So you'll be seeing, listening, be able to listen to the audio version on the podcast, My Two Cents in a Sip, which is on Anchor, the Anchor app. And um, you'll be able to watch My Two Cents in a Sip on YouTube. And also on my Facebook, which is my two cents in a sip at Yvonne Missy Aya. So, if you do, if you guys don't know, Missy Rich Singh and Yvonne Missy Aya, we are affiliate marketing, digital media, uh, streaming apps and shows, and one of them is Paramount. And now. Showtime. So I'm going to be doing my sister to sip and incorporating the new shows and series coming out on the new streaming apps and also the latest topics, updates, random advice, um, and also affiliate marketing, beauty and care products from different businesses and companies, and also black owned businesses or women owned businesses of hair and care and beauty products as well so you're going to get an update of all of that um going on here on missy rich scene and everything in that scene so right now on paramount the paramount app is about what 6.99 a month uh, it's like a netflix it has original series and streaming series um, from different channels and networks right now we have the mayor of kingstown if you have not checked out the mayor of kingstown i'm currently watching that in episode three um, but it's about six or eight episodes right now so it's enough time to binge it really quickly and get on track original series from paramount also the game the new game is on paramount which i love the game when it was on upn cw and now they have remade it and recast it 
Okay, it's no Derwin, it's no Melanie, it is Tasha Mack, Malik. Tasha Mack is an agent. Malik, he's trying to decide whether he still wants to play or not, so he's in his later years. Uh, and like I said, the storyline to Malik in this new game series, I love the storyline. You guys have to watch it. I am going to put the links in the bio or in the comments. I'll put the links out there so you guys can download it um, or stream it through our links to get your discounts and show your support um, to Missy Ritzine TV. So make sure you guys watch that. I'm still trying to get into Mayors of, of Kingstown, but what I do know about Mayors of Kingstown, they do have an uh, actor up there. Something just happened. I just can't tell y'all what happened in this new latest episode, but the actor on Mayor of Kingstown is somebody we've seen a long time ago for all my older older beauties out there. Um and Ferris Bueller's days off. Ferris Bueller Days Off. I think the act the best friend on that show plays on Mayor of Kingstown. So if you're into that. Check that out. Now, we always have a random advice question. Guys, make sure you subscribe to Missy Rich Scene TV. We are always revamping and trying out new things on our channel. This is, it's a channel, but it's a network for me. And on a network, you have all type of shows, uh, commercials, ads things that shows that come on in the daytime, things you can watch at night. And with YouTube, of course, you can watch it all day and all night. But the this is a network of shows. So I'm not all over the place where you see beauty videos or my two cents in a sip or a vlog video or an advice video because it is all on in my network and on my channel. Okay, so. The random advice question, guys. Of course, all of our questions, I've asked random individuals to write down random topics about relationships and women issues and write about three or four each and fold them up. Don't let me see it. And I will read them out loud and try to give you my best advice because I feel like I can give good advice on relationship and women issues. Um today so that's why i'm doing this guys who's here make some noise i see a like so thank you for the like my voice is hoarse and i'm still talking so a pop-up It wasn't really about you guys to come in here or something. It was about me trying to figure out how to do this live and how it will look. So, makeup gurus that started YouTube with their makeup videos. Uh, that's what Deck of Scarlet makeup is about. Mayel, um, you haven't heard of Mayel, that is hair care for all hair, natural hair. Pick that up. The Wonderful Wine Company, which is, make sure y'all check out The Wonderful I'm going to leave a link to that as well. These are a lot of things. Yeah, I like this because I've had to market and affiliate with these brands. I literally have to pitch why I want to work with them and why I can, like, you know, boost their revenue or get people to purchase their products and items and stuff. So the the fact that they accepted me is like, oh, I did a good pitch. <laughs> if I can't do that, I can pitch it. Okay. Advice question, guys. 
Why is it hard for women to leave once they are in a relationship for 10 years plus? Why is it hard? So, of course, guys, with a relationship of 10 years plus, the hard reasons to leave, of course, you know it would be the kids, the lifetime, the things that you share together. Uh, oh, my gosh. It's, it's a lot of things that will make it hard to leave after being in a relationship for 10 years. Of course, you're living together. You purchase things together that you never thought that to split it up will be an option. So that will make it hard to leave after 10 years. And then you're trying to leave after more than 10 years in a relationship. You just have to take into consideration it was 10 years. 10 whole long, long years. Why is it hard to stay or leave a relationship that has been 10 years or longer? Make sure you guys subscribe. If you guys have your own answers or advice on that question, why is it hard to leave, to leave or stay in a relationship that has been 10 years or longer? Make sure you guys leave it in the comments guys also you can send me messages um anonymously or questions anonymously and i will get those questions answered as well i have been in a, a relationship for almost over 17 years so i feel like i do have that advice i'm an older sister of many siblings so i've always been the type to give advice a little bit bossy but not afraid to take advice let's chat we can debate. Let's talk about it. Let's discuss the fuss. What's going on? And I'm here for you. Okay. What are some more things that will be hard or even easier to leave a relationship that you've been in for 10 years or more? Y'all let me know. I'm writing the poll question, why is it hard to leave a relationship after more than 10 years? What y'all think? Why is it hard to leave a relationship after more than 10 years? Like I said, I will say it's the kids. Of course, they're growing or just starting out. I will also say um, things that you guys have shared and purchased together. Um, house, clothing, couches. Um, things that if you separate, somebody's going to have to get their own because... It's a separation. You have to break it apart. Get my money back. Or compromise, which is what adults do. It's called compromise, guys. But that is the hard part of, or will be the hard part of trying to lead a relationship after more than 10 years. Something you will have to take into consideration. Something you will have to definitely discuss together. Um whether it's a good discussion or not. Some is no discussion. You just go. I've heard um, people that have been in relationships for 10 years, family members, parents, grandparents. Some of them left amicably. Some left like a thief in the night. <laughs> some <laughs> left by force. Um, some left by only options. So, it is hard, but it can be done. But those are the things that will make it hard, guys. Just We're human. We have emotions. We have feelings. We have one life. We have one time being 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So you can't go back to those years. You can't get those years back. I know it hurts. It sucks. 
but you can't get them back. You can only move forward, and you're going to either move forward living in the back, which is the past, or you're going to move forward and try to make some things different for the future, or you're going to move on. And that's my two cents. I'm going to take my sip. Because I love that question. That was a good question. I love that. So, the question is, why is it hard to leave a relationship like this? You have advice, answer, question, a testimony. Make sure you leave it in the comments below, guys. Make sure you subscribe to the CBC I am your host, Yaya. Yeah, yeah. If this is a pop up live, there will be more. Make sure you check out the link.